Hey, what's up? Welcome back to The Trailer Project. So I'm going to start this one off by saying that uh, Peter Bogdanovich is a really important filmmaker. He's done important films such as Paper Moon, uh, The Cat's Meow, The Last Picture Show, and the list really goes on and on and on. However, his debut feature, 1968's Targets, is uh, one of his great films that doesn't get talked about as much. Um, it's interesting because it's his first film, and like so many directors from the period, he came from the Roger Corman alumni. So shooting had wrapped up on the Boris Karloff film The Terror, featuring a young Jack Nicholson, directed by uh, Monty Hellman, Jack Nicholson, and like 50 other people, and uh, they had an extra time to film with Boris Karloff. However, uh, Peter Bogdanovich and his wife at the time, Polly Platt, kept racking their brains. They realized that the old formula of gothic horror movies weren't that scary. Um, the kind of big castles and crackling thunder and that kind of stuff wasn't really uh, terrifying in the modern times. Uh, and what they realized is that what's really scary is someone like Charles Whitman um, going off and shooting a bunch of people for no reason. So that's what they made. That's so that's the plot of Targets. It's about um, a seemingly normal um, white young male, and he gets an arsenal and goes out and shoots a lot of people. And what they did is that they juxtaposed the story with a narrative about an aging horror movie star, Boris Karloff, in this movie called Byron Orlock, reference there. And um, what they did is that they juxtaposed these two storylines about a man going on a killing spree and an aging horror director realizing that his brand of horror isn't really scary anymore. And these stories collide and make a wonderful feature. So without further ado, here's the trailer for the 1968 film, Targets. <laughs> Ah, well, you look at that, it's the portrait of an American family. Uh, looks like something right out of Norman Rockwell. A typical American family at dinner. Mom and dad, their beautiful daughter-in-law, and their only son, Joe. A homicidal maniac. The schlocky narration there really doesn't do the film justice. Uh, Targets is actually a very prescient and hard-hitting film which is unfortunately uh, just as prescient today as it was back in 1968. I'm gonna shoot some pigs. Targets. A movie. The actor here, Tim O'Kelly, who plays the main character, is quite terrifying. He's a very casually terrifying presence. He's, uh, and also, he's got that very uh, thoroughbred look, uh, the blonde hair, blue eyes, um, you know, the all-American boy, which, as it turns out, is uh, usually the ones you kind of have to watch out for. Um... He kind of disappeared from acting after that, which actually kind of um, enhances his um, kind of spooky screen presence, as you don't really have any frame of reference for him before and after this film is made, where you realize that the um, where you realize that the fictional old horror of yesteryear might not really have a place in uh, the modern society, where you have a you know guy like Kelly over here blowing everyone away. Um, it's a it's a tight script and it's uh, wonderfully directed. And the final shootout is something that Peter Bogdanovich would go on the record saying he uh, wish he never made the film because of the tragedy in Colorado with the Dark Knight Rises screening. For better or worse, we're lucky to have a film like Targets around, even though it might remind you of the tragedy of um, America and our history of gun violence. It's kind of weird seeing Bogdanovich without an ascot, but um, you know there it is. Anyhow, thanks for watching. This has been Alex from The Trailer Project. Um, hit like or subscribe, and if you want to see us cover something, let us know.